Let's begin on our belly, actually. So just lay down with your legs long. You could have your forehead down. You could make a little pillow with your hands. You could rest one ear to the side, but just lay down flat, belly down Shavasana to begin. And close the eyes. Just let the belly rest, let the limbs, the legs feel heavy on the earth, on the mat. And just invite in a big full breath, maybe a couple sighs, the first couple of breaths. And just notice the weight of your body sinking in to the mat, being held, just restful position. And notice if there's an intention you want to bring to your practice, or I'll offer one this morning around just kind of reframing thoughts. Neil Donald Walsh says, life can show up another way than the way in which you perceive it. So maybe you're feeling tired or tight or sore or relaxed or rested. Just kind of notice what you're feeling and if you want to have a reframe consider that several more big full breaths and if your ear is facing one way turn the head so that you can evenly Place the ear facing the other way. Keep taking some big breaths. And then maybe you want to find a little gentle movement, just letting the hips sway side to side, or maybe rocking the forehead on the mat, feeling the connection of the third eye. And then wherever your arms are, start to bring them on top, at the top of the mat, parallel with each other and parallel with the short edge of the top of the mat. And then draw the right knee out to the right for half frog. So you make a 90 degree angle with the hip and the knee, the knee and the ankle bending there. And then press into the left forearm. You can also press into the right forearm. And just press to lift the chest a little bit. If you want a little more, you can press into the palms and you'll start to feel a little bit of a back bend. But if you're feeling it in the lower back, lower back down so that the forearms, the elbows are on the earth. And then you'll plant the right hand and you'll keep it there at the right corner of the mat. And you'll slide the left arm under to thread the needle, let the left ear come down, and then start to roll the right shoulder open. So you're coming onto your back into a twist. So your right knee stays bent, you're in a twist, final twist on the back. You can close the eyes again. You can use the left hand on the right thigh to coax it down a little further. You could turn your head to the right to deepen the stretch, the twist. Take one more big breath. And then start to roll back from where you came from. Slide the right leg back to meet the left. Shake the hips out a little bit. And then forearms down, start to press left knee comes out to the left, second side of your half frog. If you want to lift the chest a little more, you can press into the palms, you could press into the elbows. Just making sure the back feels supported and not crunched. Take another breath here. 
And then the left palm to the left corner of your mat, slide the right arm onto the left like you're threading the needle and then start to roll. You might be a little bit off your mat. Roll open the left hand, the left shoulder, finding your spinal twist. Right hand can meet the right thigh, or left thigh, rather. Take one more big breath. And then start to unravel back onto your belly. Legs long. This time, Arms parallel for Sphinx pose, parallel with each other, elbows down under the shoulders, draw the heart, draw the chest forward. And then opposite action, you start to tuck the chin, tuck the belly button, press into the knees, and round the spine like a scared Halloween cat. So then the core start to engage, and then thighs, hips come back down, pull the heart forward, draw the collarbones through, isometrically pull the fingertips back, Opening the heart like cow pose, and then pressing into the toe and else pressing into the knees, lift the thighs, feel the belly button off the earth towards the spine, and then lower back down one more time. Inhale, chest forward, exhale, round the back, tuck the tailbone, pulling the chest in, and exhale, lower. Forehead to the mat. This time, bend the knees, windshield wiper the legs side to side. Release the lower back. And then legs long again. Forearms down, palms down. Inhale, lift everything off, keeping the toenails connected to the earth. And then step left toes and right toes. You're in a forearm plank. And then lift and lower the hips up and over to the left through center over to the right. So lifting and lowering the hips like you're drawing a big rainbow with your hips side to side. So in whatever pace feels comfortable, take one more on each side and then lower the knees, press back, child's pose. Knees wide, hips to heels, forehead to the mat. Let the belly release after that core engagement. Big breath through the nose, big sigh out the mouth. <sighs> Another breath like that. <sighs> One more big breath here. And then draw yourself to tabletop. And move around to shift the weight, keeping your hands and knees where they are, just shifting the weight of the shoulders, the head, the hips, maybe little circles or semi-circles, full circles all the way around, starting to move the neck. You can move as freely as you want, maybe incorporating side cat-cow, traditional cat-cow. And then start to make your way to tabletop, spreading the fingers nice and wide. And then left knee stays down, right knee comes out to the right. Extend it back and bring it back to the right. So just like we did on the ground, you're coming into a 90 degree angle like that half frog pose, right knee bends, and then extend. Two more, bend, extend. This time as it bends, kick the right foot away from you and stretch the left arm away from you. Awkward airplane, inhale here, and then draw everything through center, keep lifted. Inhale, lengthen through the left fingers, lengthen through the right toes. Left hand down, tuck the left toes, three-legged down dog, bend the knee, open up the hip, shake out the right leg, ankle, hip joint. And then right foot comes to the mat, downward facing dog. Take a breath in, big breath out. Bend the knees lower to the earth, tabletop. Pause here, keeping the right knee connected to the earth. 
Left knee lifts and comes out to the left and then extends, heel down, toes down. Left knee to the left, crunching it and extend. Keep going. Opening up the left hip as you find that 90 degree bend. One or two more. And then stay with the left knee out. Kick the left foot away from you. Left hand stays where it is. And the left, the right arm reaches. See if you can lift the foot a little higher, stretch the fingers a little further. And then without setting it back down, find your spinal balance, right arm alongside the right ear, left leg back. Drawing the belly button to spine so the core is working. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, right hand to the mat. Tuck the right toes, three-legged down dog, lift the hips, lift the left heel, bend the knee, open it up, and explore the left hip, shake the ankle, shake the head, plugging through left and right hand. And when you're ready, downward facing dog, two feet to the mat. Take a breath here. Exhale, let it go. Another full round of breath, inhale. And exhale. Shift forward, lower the knees, but hover them just an inch off the mat, like a piece of paper could slide under the knees, the shins, very low, little space between the knees and the mat. Strong in the shoulders, strong in the core, one more breath. And then see if you can set the knees down at exactly the same time, both knees to the earth. Chest and chin, lower elbow close to the rib cage. Inhale for cobra. Exhale, make your way back, downward facing dog, maybe through plank, maybe through child's pose, maybe through tabletop, down dog. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Walk the hands to the back of the mat, forward fold. Bend the left knee deeply, left hand down and peel the right arm to the sky, twisted forward fold. Roll the wrist around, spread the fingers out. Switch sides, right hand to the mat. Right knee bends deeply, left hand peels open. You could also have your hand on a block. Open up the left shoulder, roll the left wrist. Let the head and the neck be heavy. Two hands down, forward fold. Knees can be bent a lot or a little. Half lift, lengthen. Exhale, fold, head heavy. Press into the feet, rise all the way to stand. Inhale, lift, press the palms, pull the hands to heart center. Roll the shoulders down the back. Inhale. Exhale, palms down, facing forward. Inhale, arms high. Exhale, hinge and fold. Halfway lift. This time, crawl yourself to plank. Pause and plank. Maybe the feet a little bit wider for support. Lift the right foot, bend the right knee out to the right, as if you could tap your right shoulder and then step it back. Left knee lifts, bring it to the left. Keep going side to side, like you're a spider kind of walking, crawling. Big, long legs. Keep the core strong. One more on each side. If you need to lower the knees, go ahead. And then downward facing dog, hips high. Inhale, reach the right leg high. Step forward, low lunge, left knee to the mat. Inhale, arms up. Draw the arms into the rib cage. Press the hips back. Sweep the arms back. Half splits variation. Interlace the hands, punch the fist back, squeezing the shoulder blades. And then inhale, sweep all the way back up, low lunge, little back bend. Left hand to the ground, roll the right arm open. Right hand to the right thigh, so we can twist a little deeper. Use the hand into the leg to twist the spine. Start to angle your left foot, left ankle to the left. Right hand to the right hip and extend your right leg back so you're in a side plank. You could adjust where your left hand is. Make sure your left shoulder feels supported. Stack the shoulders, stack the hips. Inhale, reach the right arm high. 
Start to lower the right foot to the earth and reach the right arm over the ear. Feel that, feel that nice long line of energy through the right side of the body. See if you can drape your fingers down even further towards the earth. And then inhale, start to sweep your right arm up and back like you're big, taking a big back stroke. Get a little lighter in the left fingers, so maybe even tent your left fingers. And then as we go up and back, we're gonna find gate opener pose. Your torso is gonna lift up and over the shoulders and then all the way down, right hand down, right leg, left arm over the left ear. Stay here, feeling the left side body lengthen now. Big breath in, big breath out. Two more breaths. And then if you'd like to flow that, you can sweep the left hand to the floor, reach the right arm over and pick up the right leg. And then exhale, reverse. You can stay for a breath or two, you can stay in one posture, or you could take it breath to movement. This side plank variation, which kind of looks like a half moon into gate opener pose. Continue to breathe. One more cycle of breath or one more round if you're flowing breath to movement. And then the next time your left hand comes down, bring your right hand down, tuck your right toes, three-legged down dog, left leg high. This time, bend the left knee, open the hip, and maybe flip your dog. Open the heart. Make your way back to downward facing dog. From down dog, shift forward to plank. Either take the knees, chest and chin down, or shift forward for your first chaturanga. Elbows close to the rib cage. Untuck the toes. Cobra or upward facing dog into downward facing dog. On your next inhale, left heel lifts. Bend the left knee, big step to the top of the mat, low lunge. Gently lower the right knee to the earth. Inhale, rise up. Start to draw the elbows into the ribcage, start to straighten the left leg, the left toes will lift and extend the left, the hands behind you, interlace the fingers, maybe try the other grip that you didn't do before, squeezing the shoulder blades together. Inhale here, exhale, rebend the left foot, plant the left toes, inhale, reach the arms high, maybe a little back bend here. Right hand crumbles down inside the right left foot, Left hand peels open, finding the twist, and then left hand to left thigh, and see if you can even twist a little deeper. Start to slide the right shin to the right to support your balance. Make sure your right fingers are spread wide. Left leg goes back, maybe left hand to the hip to start, then to the sky, and then up and over your head. Start to lower the left foot, and let the left arm really drape over your ear. Pressing through the inner edge or both inner and outer edges of the left foot. And then start to circle your left arm back. Big strokes backwards with the left hand. Start to get a little lighter in the right hand, maybe tent your fingertips. And using the momentum, you can start to shift shoulders over the hips and left hand down, left leg, reach right arm over the ear. Left ear relaxes towards the left shoulder. Take another big breath in here. And then if you'd like to flow, you can cartwheel the right hand down and pick up the left leg. Your choice of how swiftly you flow, or you could just stay in one of those poses.
One more cycled breath wherever you are. The next time your right hand is down, let the left hand come down, left toes come down and extend the right heel to the sky, three-legged down dog. Bend the knee, open up that hip. If you'd like to flip your dog, go ahead, step the right toes off the mat, open the heart and the chest to the ceiling. And then come all the way back around, downward facing dog, big breath in, big breath out. Stay here or option to take your vinyasa, take the flow, breath to movement. When you reach down dog, take another full breath. And then on your next inhale, right leg lift. Step into high lunge. If you need to help your foot closer to the top of the mat, inch it forward. Inhale, arms by the ears. Right knee over the ankle. Maybe a wider stance to support the balance. Inhale here. Exhale, hands come down to bring the right foot runner's lunge. And they're gonna draw the left knee towards the right and kind of hover and then step it all the way to the back of the mat. Keep going like that. Inhale, pull it forward. Exhale, extend it back. Keep going with your breath, knee to knee, and then big step to the back of the mat. Okay, next time you find yourself knee to knee, see if you can rise all the way up, one-legged mountain, left foot lifted. Pull your hands into your chest like we did earlier, and then press the palms and press the sole of the foot forward. Lift the left heel a little higher, tilt all the way into warrior three. Chest comes down, left heel lifts. Arms back by the hips. Little back bend in the chest, inhale. And then bend the right knee to step your left toes to the back of the mat, high lunge again. Inhale here. Exhale, warrior two, spin the left heel down, open the arms up. Take a couple breaths to find your warrior two. Set up your alignment. Shoulders over the hips, fingers spreading wide. And then both arms up to the sky, stay in the lunge of the warrior two. Take both arms back, reverse warrior variation. Inhale, come through center and take both arms forward. Keep the frame of the face. Inhale, center. Exhale, take it back. Keep the lunge in the legs. Inhale, center. Lean forward. Inhale, center. One more time, take it back. Inhale, center. Take it forward, that side angle variation with the arms framing the face. Inhale, center, obliques are working. Take it back, left hand down the left thigh. Straighten the right leg. Inhale, arms to a T. And find your star pose. Bump out the hips, shake the arms a little. And then bend into the left knee. Sweep the arms outside the left leg and inhale, reach back up. Like star, but arms are reaching to the right. Bend the left knee, hands to the left. Inhale, sweep up and over to the right. Keep going. One or two more times. And then from star pose, turn the right toes forward again. Come into warrior two. Cartwheel the left hand down, pick up the left heel, reach the right arm to the sky for the twist. Left hand is your base. Start to heel toe the right foot towards center. You could stay here, roll the left heel down, pick up the hips and maybe stack right foot in front of left, right foot on top of left, maybe right foot hovering. We've been in the side plank variation with the left knee down. You could always lower the left knee down again or come to the left forearm to support the wrist. One more breath in. 
And then right hand comes down, right foot comes down. Option to go through your vinyasa. Downward facing dog as you're ready. Take a cycle of breath in down dog. Exhale and inhale and let it go. Inhale, left leg lifts. Big step to the top of the mat. Make your way to a stable high lunge. Maybe a wider stance. Inhale, shoulders and hips in line. Exhale, bring the hands back down. And then right knee draws toward the left and step it all the way back. Keep going. Take a big, long stance. Working the left thigh. Tented fingers or hands could be on blocks. One or two more times. Next time your right knee meets the left, hold it there. Lift your fingers and rise up one legged mountain with the right thigh lifted, arms to the sky. Draw the elbows into the rib cage and then press the palms forward like you're standing on the wall. Press the foot forward. Inhale, lift the toes and then sweep that right thigh, right leg all the way back. Warrior three, balancing on the left ankle. Hips are squared. Start to gently bend the left knee to step the right toes far to the back of the mat and find your high lunge again. Lift the chest, inhale, beautiful, open up. Spin it open, warrior two, left heel down, right heel down, left arm forward, right arm back. And gather your breath here, big full breaths. Smooth inhales, smooth exhales, left knee over the ankle. As you're ready, arms up by the ears, relax the shoulders down the back, and then take it to a reverse warrior variation. Inhale back to center. The obliques have to work, we lean forward, side angle variation. Inhale, come through center, take your time. Exhale, reverse. Pressing evenly through both feet. Inhale, center. Keep going. Side to side. Where can you relax a little bit in the face, in the shoulders, in the jaw? Beautiful. Next time you take it back, stay there and bring the right hand down the right leg. Traditional reverse warrior. Straighten the left leg to feel the release. Inhale, bring the arms up, heels in and toes out. Shake this everything out. Star pose. And then you're going to bend into your right knee and sweep the arms outside the right leg. And then inhale, sweep up and over to the left. Keep going. Bend deeply into the right knee and inhale, lift. One or two more times and we'll stay in your star pose. And then adjust your feet back to warrior two for a moment. Recommit to warrior two, shoulders over the hips and cartwheel to find your twisted lunge, lifting the right heel, lifting the left hand. Stay here or start to heel to the left foot for a base. You could also come to your fist or forearm or right knee down. Variation or a full side plank. Lift the hips a little higher. Maybe you're hovering the left foot. And then left hand to the mat. Down dog or take your vinyasa. When you reach down dog, take a full breath in and an audible sigh. Exhale, let it go. Ah. Another full breath in. This time, keep the lips together and take a just mmm. One more big audible breath, maybe a ha, maybe a flutter of the lips or a stick out the tongue. And then take the knees to the outside edges of the mat, toes kiss together. Forehead down, child's pose. Reconnect to the breath, reconnect to the body.
three or four more rounds of breath. And slowly start to walk your hands towards your knees, rolling your body up to sitting on your shins. A couple times, just roll the shoulders up, back, and down. And we'll take another big heart opening back bend, half camel. So your right hand could be on the floor, on a block, or on your heel. Left arm will reach up and over the ear, and then the hips will start to come forward, head goes back. Very slowly, bring the hips back to the heels. If that's too much, you can always bring your hand to your sacrum. Let's go to the other side. Left hand to sacrum, floor, block, or heel. Hips forward, thighs lifting. And very slowly come back down. Just tilt your chin, close your eyes, hands to the thighs. Take a moment here. Start to walk your hands back to tabletop. Bring the knees under the hips. Tuck your toes downward facing dog. From down dog, let's look to the hands. Walk your feet in a little bit. Slightly shorter stance. Bend the knees. On your exhale, you can walk or hop to the top of the mat. Take a half lift. Reset the spine. Exhale, fold. Toes together or feet apart. Chair pose. Hips low. Arms up. Bring the hands to your heart, lift the spine, and then twist to your right. So left elbow outside the right thigh. Inhale, come to center. Let's go to the other side. Twist to your left, right elbow outside left thigh. Inhale, come to center. Go back to the right. Stay here, lift your left heel, and then start to lift your left heel towards your glute, and very slowly, with control, Extend the left leg, left toe step all the way to the back of the mat. Keep the twisted lunge. Beautiful. Press the elbow into the thigh. Maybe a fist with your bottom hand gives you even more leverage. Lift the left thigh and then start to open the arms. Left arm down, right arm up. Press into the feet and rise up into the twisted lunge. Beautiful. Left arm forward, right arm back. Right hand down, sacrum or left leg. Left hand to the sky, shining your heart up. Exalted. Now you're going to cross your left elbow towards the right thigh again. Just a little tap. And then we're going to lift your left knee all the way up. We've been here before. One leg and up, but turn to the left. Tap your right elbow towards the left thigh. And we're going to step all the way back again. Reverse into the twist. Maybe left elbow taps the right thigh. Pick up your left knee, left knee towards right knee, and then lift it higher. One-legged mountain, twist to your left. Try it one more time. Big step back. Inhale, big step forward. And then we'll land with our left foot back. Left hand down, right hand high. Finding the left foot on the earth again. Again, side plank if you want. Maybe this time bend your right knee, heel towards glute, and step the left foot off for a wild thing. Variation of your flip dog. And then right hand comes down. Everybody finds plank pose and take the knees to the earth. Move around from hands and knees, maybe traditional cat-cow, some side cat-cow. Move organically, just moving the spine around in ways that feel good. After a lot of twisting. Three more rounds of breath. When you're ready, neutral tabletop, tuck the toes, down dog. Start to walk your toes into a slightly shorter stance. Look to your thumbs, bend your knees, and on your exhale, how quietly and softly can you land in a forward fold. 
take a half lift reset exhale fold forward chair pose you can keep the space between the legs if that feels good bring the hands to your heart twist to your left this time look to your left inhale center exhale twist to the right inhale center twist to the left and stay here right heel pops up and then all the way into your left foot when you have the balance you can start to rise your right heel towards the glute and then extend the right leg long stretch it back and quietly step it down staying in the lunge the twist maybe the right hand makes a fist press even more left palm into right right thigh lifting and then open up the arms left hand high right hand reaches for the floor Press into the feet, get light in the upper body, lift the torso up, shoulders over the hips. Inhale, stretch the fingers apart. Left hand to the sacrum or down the right leg, reach right hand to the sky, stretch long, inhale. Exhale, right elbow bends again, kind of tapping the left thigh, left knee. And then you're going to draw that knee to knee action and then twist and turn to your left, like the left elbow could touch the right thigh. Keep going at your own pace. If you're wobbling, that's kind of the point. It's okay to fall out. We'll be challenging the balance a lot. Couple times, reaching up and twisting to your right and reaching back and twisting to your left. Maybe one more time, give it a try. A lot of work for the left leg. All right, when you reach your twist again, bring the right palm down, bring the left hand high. And then heel toes, left foot to center and stack your feet. Maybe heel towards glute again and then step the toes off the mat for wild thing. Eventually, find your plank pose. From here, lower the left forearm, lower the right forearm, forearm plank. Plant the left palm, plant the right palm, plant. Lower the right forearm, lower the left forearm, forearm plank. Right palm, left palm, less time. Lower one forearm and the other. Stay here. Just a little shift forward, a little shift back. For three, for two, for one, and then thighs come down. Pull the heart forward. Cobra variation, sphinx pose. And exhale, forehead to the mat, hips shake, release, belly down, Shavasana. Take three full breaths here. As you're ready, make your way to down dog. Take your time to get there. You can press your child's pose, push up and back. Downward facing dog when you're ready. From down dog, reach the right leg high. Then step into high lunge. Inhale, arms up. We've been here before. Bring the elbows into the chest. Lean the heart forward and sweep the arms back. Interlace the hands, punch the fist. We did this from low lunge. And then bring your hands to your hips. Walk the back foot in and start to fold. Keeping a long spine. Maybe walk the hands down the leg. Deep stretch of the hamstrings. Start to bend the right knee. Keep walking your hands down so they touch the earth and pick up the left leg. You're in standing split. And then slide the left leg behind the right. For a forward fold variation, walk the hands a little to the right. Keep pulling the chest, the head towards the earth. Come back to center, two feet as wide as the mat. 
Interlace hands around the elbows and just kind of sway in this wide legged forward fold. You can bend the knees a lot or a little. And release the hands, take a half lift from here, long spine. Plant the palms, heel toe the feet back together towards about hip width distance. And then step the left foot to the back of the mat, high lunge again. Open up, twisted lunge, left arm forward, right arm back. This time, tilt the left fingers towards the earth, but don't touch down. Maybe just cover them or tap the left pinky finger or middle finger and then lift back up, exalted. Again, reach down, covering or just gently raising the fingers. Inhale, reach up and back. One more time, hover or tap. Inhale, reach up and back. And this time it's going to be an option for revolved uh, pyramid or revolved half moon where the left leg picks itself up and you're twisting your chest to the right. One more inhale wherever you are. And then exhale, two feet to the mat, bend the knees, just crouch down and hug your shins. Curl in like a little ball. Heels could be down or heels lifted. When you're ready, start to rise up to mountain. Take your time. Feet about hip width and distance. Inhale, the arms reach high. Pick up the heels, lift a little higher. And exhale, forward fold. Half lift, reset. Plant the palms, step back, downward facing dog. Optional vinyasa before we go to the second side. You can stay in down dog and take a few rounds of breath. Last side, left leg lift, step the left foot forward, high lunge. Lean the chest forward, reach the arms back. Play with getting the less habitual grip of the hands and punch the fist back, lean the heart forward. Inhale here. And then rise back up, high lunge. This time, peel it open. Start to hover your right fingers down, left hand high, and then exalt it. Up and back. Start to hover right fingers to the earth. Inhale, reach up and back. Couple more times here. And then reset, bring your hands to your hips, walk your back foot in, and we'll just take the traditional pyramid first. Maybe play with a long spine. You don't have to fold all the way forward. Hands don't have to come to the floor or block. They could stay on the hips. Long spine, lifting the chest. First, your pyramid pose. And then bend the left knee, hands frame the left foot, pick up the right leg, standing splits just to transition. And then slide the right leg so the outer edges of the feet are touching, head heavy. Take another big breath here. And then just step the feet about hip with distance. Bend the knees so that the thighs are on the, 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 ch the chest is on the thighs. And then slide right hand and left hand underneath. So you're stepping on the palms. Toes are kind of tickling the wrists. Maybe you begin to straighten the legs. Just another forward fold before we go into our last standing balancing posture. Another breath in. 
And on your breath out, bend the knees enough. Again, the chest is laying on the thighs. You're peeling the fingers out. Take a halfway lift to reset. Exhale to fold. And then let's step the right foot all the way back this time. High lunge. Inhale. Twist it open. This time as you cartwheel down, you can hover. You can rise back up. And then take yourself into either revolved pyramid or revolved half moon, a block under your right shoulder is going to help a lot. Or you could just hover your fingers. The left hand could stay on the left hip. Lift your right leg, your right heel. Take one more breath. And then two feet to the earth, heel toe the feet wide this time, heels in, toes out, and come into a squat. Pressing the palms, elbows into the inner thighs, lift the heart, lift the chest. Take one more cleansing breath here. And then let your fingers come to the earth, start to press into the heels, straighten the leg, heel to the feet, halfway lift, exhale, fold. Final optional vinyasa, or press right back to downward facing dog. And when you reach down dog, look at your hands, walk your feet in a little bit. Bend the knees, hop to the top of the mat to bend all the way to your seat. So come to your bottom and roll all the way to your back. When you get to your back, just bring your right um, palm to the right kneecap, left palm to the left kneecap, and let the arms be straight. The weight of the legs is just kind of held in the palms. And as the knees stretch away from you and the thighs stretch away from you, your back should sort of release and lengthen. Just be still, holding the knees, head and neck heavy. And then start to bend the elbows, squeeze the knees to your chest, out wide in a big circle. Maybe reverse the directions. And then let the soles of the feet come down. Just press the hands into the hips, into the thighs a little bit. And then lower the hands to the earth. Tickle your heels. We'll take one bridge pose. Inhale, tuck the tailbone, lift the hips, the thighs. Maybe roll one shoulder and the other under and interlace your hands here. Finding that one big fist again. Press into the feet. And then if your shoulders are tucked, start to release the hands and untuck them. And tuck the tailbone as you roll all the way down. Bring the feet wide and let the knees come together, hand to belly, hand to heart. Close the eyes. Okay, we're going to take an, a passive bridge now. So heel to your feet to hip-width distance. Either use your hands or a block if you have one. And you'll lift the hips, and then your hands will go under your sacrum, elbows underneath your wrists. And you just rest into that posture. Or if you do have a prop of some kind, you could find the distance low, middle, or high for that prop to be under your sacrum and just release. So it's bridge, but it should be really passive. You could stay here a little longer. Your legs aren't working very hard. Try not to look left or right once you're in the pose.
then press into the feet to lift your hips enough to take your block or your palms out from underneath and then slowly, slowly descend the hips back down to the earth. This time, soles of the feet together and knees wide, Baddha Konasana, hand to belly, hand to heart again, let the eyes close. One more breath. And use the hands on the outer edges of the legs to just gently close the legs, squeeze the knees into the chest, give yourself a little hug, rock a little on the sacrum. And then cross the right thigh, right ankle over the left thigh, weave the hands under the thigh or over the shin. And you could be still or you could gently rock a little left and right. In this pigeon on the back figure four shape, maybe a little rock side to side, and then pausing in a place that feels a little more sensation. And then just let your arms go wide and take that shape all the way to the left. You can cross the right thigh all the way over the left. Turn your head the other way. One final spinal twist. Begin to unravel, maybe a little shake of the limbs between sides or a little happy baby. Whenever you feel ready, we'll go to the second side, the left ankle over the right thigh, hands weaving under. Be still or gently take that shape left and right. And then release the arms wide, let the left thigh slide all the way over the right. And then let the legs fall to the right, head turn left. Eyes can close. And then take another big breath in. And on your exhale, start to unravel into your Shavasana or into one final posture, whatever your body is asking for before you find stillness. Setting up for the most comfortable, restful place you can be to stay and surrender for the next four to five breaths. I'll give you some silence for your stillness and I'll guide you out when it's time.
Take a big breath in and a slow breath out. Consider if you want to stay here for even longer, or if you want to start to gently reawaken the body. I'm going along with our theme of reframe, I have a little quote, little message from someone who's feeling really frustrated. They said, I can't take it anymore. And then someone said to them, then give. So give yourself a big hug, a big embrace. You're starting to reawaken. And then maybe roll to the side and take your time to press yourself up to a seat so we can take one final breath together. Exhale the air out. Inhale fully. And give it back. Beautiful practice. Thank you for being here.